Right, so net migration. So this first one is all about migration. Um, so if you go ahead and you click on this link, it go ahead and it has all this information for you here. For you here. Uh, so it has the net migration rate for all of these uh, various uh, years. Uh, and so it'll load eventually. There we go. All right. And so when it loads, you'll see all the countries of the world here and the years and the net migration rate. Whoa, 51.2. Wow, that's a huge number. Uh, uh, that's an insane number. So that, well, um, I never noticed that before. Uh, all right, come over here, select by country or, or area. So this is where you then go once again and choose your particular countries. Uh, and I have ones I want to go ahead and do and cover. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's go. Let's cover China. So that you do the same thing for your particular countries. Japan, uh, both of the Koreas. And Taiwan, so we have all of East Asia. Don't worry, nobody has East Asia, so we're not doing any, no one's getting any benefit from a free analysis here. And Canada. Well, we're doing a lot, aren't we? Um, okay, so now it should have shrunk that list to those, those particular countries. Keep in mind, yours is just two. The reason why I'm selecting all of these is because it gives me a lot to talk about. All right, these numbers, I wish I could, is there a way I can make, the, yeah, here we go. This that helps make these a little bigger so you can see them. All right, so here we have for China. Uh, so what we have is what I would like for you to do, so kind of in your response, uh, as you kind of think about these particular questions, is the net migration rate positive, negative, or zero? Is this a large number compared to other countries? And you can compare to other countries being the other country you have, or if you click on this link here, it should take you to a new and approved updated net migration uh, rate where it has all of the various regions of the world. Of course, the world average is zero. I guess maybe there's a few people going out of space, uh, but other than that, it's zero. Uh, so there's not people leaving the world uh, or coming to the world that we know of. Uh, and so the, using this particular graph to kind of reference, okay, is my particular country, I mean, is this number, is it big, is it small? I don't know. We'll use this kind of as a comparison, uh, kind of compared to other regions of the world. So when we look at China, the first thing we notice is historically. So talking about your rate, it's negative and it's negative throughout time. So it's been a negative rate. And so throughout, since 1990, uh, over the last 20 to 30 years, there's been a steady out migration of people from China to other parts of the world. Uh, and so, you know, since I'm a professional geographer, I teach about this, I already know that particular group. They're called the Overseas Chinese. They have a particular name. And so I would want to talk about that later on in my analysis. Okay, start to understand, okay, where, where are these people going? Who are these people? Uh, people? Uh, who are these migrants? Uh, has this migration changed over time? It looks like it's been pretty steady but pretty minuscule. I mean, not much of an out-migration, but a steady out-migration nonetheless. Of course, 2020 is going to be always an interesting year going forward because of the pandemic and kind of throws off uh, maybe some natural patterns, some natural things that were occurring beforehand. Uh, so that this 2020 is going to be probably an outlier, seem peculiar in all of our uh, countries. Can I get more? I guess we'll just go through each one. All right, so next up is Japan. And so notice here we have a positive migration rate, negative, or sorry, positive net migration rate. That means more people are coming in than leaving. And that rates historically was minuscule, maybe a little bit, maybe, you know, a zero migration rate. But notice how since 2020 and going forward, we're seeing an in migration in Japan. And knowing what I know as a professional geographer, knowing what I know about Japan, what's happening is they have a huge crisis of hardly any young people and a whole lot of old people. And so they're now wanting in migration to serve for workers, nurses, working in older age care homes, just more people just to work since there's a shortage of workers in across industries. And so in Japan, historically, they didn't want any migration. They've restricted it. And so you can see that restriction in that, that net migration rate of being zero or nearly zero. However, more recently, they've recognized a problem or concern, and that's related to a, uh, a shortage of young people in particular, working age, and they're getting that from in-migration. 
so that in migration, as I'll do here in a minute, we'd want to know where that in migration is coming from, particular countries. All right, keep on continuing here. Kenya, we see a particular pattern that's going to be common in sub-Saharan African countries, but other countries that are stage two, early stage three is in migration, out migration, in migration, out migration. <clears throat> so you'll see a positive number, then a negative number, a positive, then a negative, and that's quite common in countries that have a lot of chaos. Sometimes they have stability in migration. Sometimes they have instability out migration, and we see that related to uh, the migration rates. So if that is your particular country, I'd want to go back and say, okay, what was going on in Kenya in the early 2000s? Well, knowing what I know, there was a civil war going on there. What was happening in 2010 for a positive in migration? The civil war was over, and so people were coming back, and so you had a return migration. And so this is how you then, you know, this use this data then to then understand and analyze patterns. Hopefully chat GPT can't do that for you. All right, continuing on, North Korea. So here you have a peculiar, odd country in and of itself. Um, and so there they restrict migration, and the few people that do leave, uh, they are leaving and they're not coming back. And so you don't see a lot of return migration, you don't see a lot of people wanting to go to North Korea, but you don't see a lot of people being allowed into North Korea. Uh, this 1.6, what's going on there? So the, I, I don't know that particular, I have to think about what's going on there. Uh, but this is kind of, once again, using kind of your deductive reasoning, using your critical thinking skills. If this is your country and you would see a result like this, you'd say, well, what's going on with that 1.6? Why were there people coming into North Korea uh, in 2000 or around 2000? Continuing on, South Korea, here you see now a uh, you know, country with a higher positive net migration rate. So people coming in to South Korea and kind of similar to Japan, this increase is happening today and going forward. And so there's that population crisis that they're also recognizing in South Korea. Taiwan, not much population, uh, uh, not, not much out migration. Once again, a positive net migration rate that's been pretty consistently positive over time, hovering right around one. Finally, I get to my last one. Where's Canada? Didn't I get Canada in here? All right, well, I wanted Canada so I could then see a country that, oh, go to, so you can download this stuff if you really want to. Uh, so I wanted Canada so we can also see how much, you know, a, a country that has a very high positive net migration rate. So you can sign and see a high number. Yeah, oh, there we are. So see how 5.3, 7.4, 5. Point, that's a high number. Uh, so, you know, you might say, well, five's a low number. Uh, you know, compared to 100, well, when we look at net migration rate, very rarely do we see anything above five, six, seven. Uh, so here in Canada, we see a very high net migration rate. Cool. All right. So you'd want to do this for this particular first part. I just essentially did that. And what I just talked about here, I will place into this little uh, blank there uh, that says here.